Today, I will be talking to you about eating a plant-based diet. Living in Montana, beef is a staple in the local diet. How many of you eat meat every day, or for every meal? Most people are unaware of the importance of eating less meat and more fruit, veggies, and whole grains. Eating a plant-based diet will not only help your health, but it will help the world. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, over one-third of the U.S. are obese. Obesity-related conditions include heart disease, stroke, type 2 diabetes, and some types of cancer. The estimated annual medical cost of obesity in the U.S. was $147 billion in 2008. Plant-based diets bring weight down within normal limits and keep it there. Vegetables, fruits, and whole grains are the primary staples of a plant-based diet and contain high amounts of dietary fiber which helps you feel full. A plant-based diet is not the same as a vegetarian diet and includes a wide variety of foods including lean meats. The American Cancer Society reports that in 2014, there will be an estimated 1,665,540 new cancer cases diagnosed and 585,720 cancer deaths in the U.S. alone. Cancer remains the second most common cause of death in the U.S., accounting for nearly one of every four deaths. There is still no cure for cancer, however, a plant-based diet can prevent it and fight it. Plant-based diets fight cancer because they are high in fiber, low in fat, and rich in antioxidants. Plant-based diets are also high in vitamin C and beta-carotene, which help fight cancer-causing agents. Cruciferous vegetables, such as broccoli, may fight cancer because they contain a substance known as isothiocyanates, which help the body break down carcinogens. Colon, breast, and prostate cancer are the three most common cancers, and these can be prevented by following a plant-based diet. Civilization as a whole could be greatly improved if a plant-based diet was more widely used. Land, water, and energy are three resources needed to grow our food. Morris Hicks develops a concept called Food Math 101. He speaks of 12 different reasons we should be eating a plant-based diet. Number one, on average, meat, dairy, and egg calories require 10 times as much land, 10 times as much water, and 10 times as much energy, energy as plant-based calories. Number two, we have roughly 8 billion acres of arable farmland only in, on the U.S. Number three, it takes two football fields of land to support one typical Westerner that eats a meat-based diet. Number four, 14 people that eat a plant-based diet could be supported on these same two football fields of land. Number five, with a total of 6 billion football fields of land, we could theoretically feed 42 billion people on a plant-based diet whereas only 3 billion people could be supported on a typical Western diet. Number six, today, according to FAO records, 72% of all beef, pork, and chicken is consumed by just five regions of the world, China, Europe, USA, Brazil, and Russia. To support their incredibly wasteful habits, these five regions are robbing land, water, and energy from the rest of the world and is driving a rate of species extinction that is more than a thousand times the normal rate. Number seven, only about two million humans are currently eating the typical Western diet, but many more are moving in that direction every day. According to the FAO numbers, for every person in the US and Europe that is moving towards a plant-based diet, there are 10 people beginning to eat more meat. Number eight, every day the world's population surges by another 230,000 people, and every single year we lose an area the size of South Carolina to erosion. At the same time, the world must produce more food in the next 40 years than the grand total of all food that has been produced during the past 10,000 years. Number nine, in order to make more room for cattle since 1970, we've destroyed over 20 million acres of our precious rainforest every year. That's a total of approximately 1 billion acres of rainforest. Number 10, over 70% of the world's finite supply of fresh water is used for agriculture, which over 70% of that number is dedicated to growing animal-based foods. Number 11, today over 1 billion people are thirsty and that number is growing every day. We're currently draining aquifers in 18 countries where over half of the world's population resides. Number 12, our global demand for animal-based foods is responsible for at least 51% of all human-induced global warming, more than all others combined. The bottom line is that our bodies need three to four servings of vegetables, three to six servings of beans, peas, and lentils, one to three servings of nuts, five servings of plant oils, 
Five to six servings of whole grains and eggs, meat, and dairy should be consumed only four to six times a week. Following this plant-based diet can help prevent obesity, cancer, and it helps save our earth and our existence overall.